So I previously made a video about how to install Keymon and ScreenKey on Ubuntu 18. I made another video following up on how to fix the Keymon errors for Ubuntu 20.04, but there's actually some errors that also is going with the ScreenKey installation. So I've looked around on the internet to see if I could figure out what was going on here. Some other people seem to be having the same issues, but other people say that it works fine, or they say to use a snap. Now, I've installed with both a PPA and a snap, and it seems to be having issues still. So when I come and I actually look at my information here, you see that we're actually using screen key 0 0.9, and this is pretty old if I go and I look at the screen key site. So there's version 1.4 all the way up here. And then there's some installation instructions about actually building this uh, from scratch and then installing dependencies. So maybe I'm gonna go and give that a shot and see if that can resolve some more issues. So I'm gonna start by downloading this newest version here, and I'll save the file and say okay. And then I'll come over here to my downloads and I'll double click on this and I'll extract it. And I'll put that in my downloads. Okay. And then let's come here and let's just go into our downloads folder and go into that folder there. And let's go back to the instructions. And let's just, first of all, try this. Let's just try running screen key from here. Okay, so that actually makes screen key appear in my app indicator. So this was not previously happening when I was using the older version. So if I click on this, I can now go to my preferences. Interesting. And I can do things like show modifier sequences. So if I wanna only show those, let me see if, okay. So you can see that the modifier sequence, like an alt there is working. And if I turn this off, I should also be able to see regular keystrokes. So if I were to type things like letters. Okay, perfect, that's working. So I think that's pretty good. So I'm just going to get out of that. But notice now, if I were to just go to a different folder, let's go back up into our downloads folder and let's run screen key here. So first of all, the version is still the old version because it's still the old version that's installed. If I run screen key and the modifiers and things work, but the typing does not work because it's using the wrong version and we don't see it up in our app indicator there at all. So let's come here and let's just P F or P kill rather screen key and that will stop the program from running. And let's do a sudo app purge of screen key. So I wanna remove the system installed version on our computer. And let me just put my password in, say yes. And now if I were to type screen key this should not run anything. So it's not installed, good. Okay, so let's CD back into this folder and now let's run that installation step so we can actually run this on our system without being in this specific folder. So I'm gonna grab this and we're basically running a setup.py script and we're running install, so press that. And it says no module setup tools. Okay, so this comes into the dependencies. So we don't have some of these dependencies here. So let's make sure we have all these things running. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to install this. I'm going to install this next line here. And make sure we have the setup tool. So this is the critical line I think that we're missing. So now it's giving us an indication that we have to install this. Say yes. And we'll get the fonts, font awesome and slop packages as well and paste that. Y for yes. Now once that's installed, I can come back up here and I'm gonna to try to run this Python script again one more time. Now, what's it say here? Oh, it says perhaps we don't have write access, so it actually can't install to that directory that we're specifying. So let's just try sudo pi. And if I come back up here, it's hard to read with this being so big. Let me just shrink this a little bit. So it looks like that might've installed that time. Okay, so let me just come back to my downloads folder and let's just try to run screen key from here. Looks like that opened up. 
if we type. Okay, that seems to be working. And let's get out of that. And that seems to have turned it off, great. And then let's come back and look in our applications for screen key. So it doesn't seem like it appears as an application in here in our icons. I mean, that's okay. I guess we can just execute it from the command line. This for me, at least this is working, so this is great. And now I can do something like just start it up, check my settings, my preferences. And I could change things like I could come up here, select a different region. So I can say, maybe I want this up here somewhere like this. And I could come back here, type, and that looks pretty good. I can come back to my preferences. And let's grab this. I'm gonna put this back down into the bottom right-hand corner like this. That seems to work pretty well for me. Okay. So that's all you need to get Screen Key working on Ubuntu 20.04. Hopefully this helped you out and stay tuned to this channel for more Ubuntu content in the future. Thanks, bye.